All right, guys, Mikey here from the Electric Scooter Guy. And guys, I'm going to do a follow-up video on the Dualtron Storm Limited just because I really, really wanted to buy this powerhouse of an electric scooter. Now, it comes in at about 5600 U.S. dollars. With tax, you're looking at about, I don't know, six grand, maybe a little bit more, which is a hell of a lot of money. But I figured with the 84-volt jump from the 72-volt system that came with the regular Storm and the 45-amp-hour battery and the 11,500 watts of peak power, I said to myself, this is going to be my next electric scooter. What a beast of an electric scooter. Now, this was before it came out. Because I have the Cabo Wolf Warrior 11 Plus, I have the Dualtron Ultra 2, and I love both of them electric scooters. But I figured, even though the Storm Limited resembles the Ultra 2, but a lot better in my opinion, with the huge rubber deck, it just looks fucking awesome. Now, the pros of this scooter is... The classic Mini Motors eye display, the speedometer, which I absolutely love. Even if it's a square wave controller and not a sine wave controller, it's still an awesome speedometer. Then it comes with a fingerprint reader, which I really like because no one can just get on your scooter and go. Plus, it definitely it's definitely better than the stupid card reader that comes on the Vissettes. The Vissette 10 Plus, the Vissette 11 Plus, it's so fucking annoying. You got to pull a card out every single time you want to uh, start the scooter. But I digress. Then it's got the standard double clamp folding mechanism, which is a, you know, a great feature because my Dualtron Ultra 2 only came with one clamp. And it's a 62 mile an hour scooter. I don't get it, but I digress again. And I finally, well, they finally put a horn on the Dualtron Storm Limited and the Dualtron Thunder too, which is a good feature. Then they got the no flat tires, which is another really good feature. I love that concept. I actually just bought a set for my Cobble Wolf Warrior 11 Plus. So we'll just have to see if they're really puncture-proof tires. And as you can see, they make them in an off-road version, on-road version. But the ones that come on the Storm Limited, they're 90s. And they just look a lot different than any other tire I've ever seen. I don't really like the uh, look of the tire too much. I'm not really that big of a fan of the way the tires look. But... um if you have a scooter that goes 42 miles an hour or more, it definitely needs a steering dampener, especially the Dualtrons. They're sketchy as fuck at high speeds. They should they should have really put one on the, the Thunder 2. I had to add one to my Ultra 2, and it made all the difference in the fucking world. Now, that all sounds great, right, guys? But something's got to give because it's been getting... Re well, there's been reports that the Storm Limited has, you know, power lossage problems and in my opinion i just think it's a lemon i think that they fucked up on this scooter it doesn't really go above 47 miles per hour sometimes it could hit 55 56 i've heard but then it bogs back down to like 47 miles per hour um and it's crazy because the power that the storm has it should be a 65 plus mile an hour scooter. I'm sorry. It should really be close to a 70 mile an hour scooter. Now, people say it could be the motors. It could be the controllers. I really don't know, but it sounds like a motor issue. Maybe even a controller and a motor issue. Now, they started sending out the new motors and people are saying that it still don't go past 60 miles per hour. And with 11,500 watts with the 45 amp hour battery, it should definitely do 65 plus, in my opinion. And I heard the range ain't even that great. I heard the range ain't great for a 45 amp hour scooter. The range ain't that great. I heard the Thunder 2, the range is a little bit better. Now, I really wanted this monster of an electric scooter. You guys know that. And for $5,600, it's a lot of money. But I figured with everything you get, why not, right? But it has too many issues, too many issues. So if you guys are in the market for a Dualtron, go with the Ultra 2, go with the regular Storm, or go with the Thunder 2, because the Storm Limited is a $5,600 waste of fucking money, in my opinion. I would much rather a Cobble Wolf King GT Pro, or even a Thunder 2. Now, it does 
you know, come with the lights and the control arms, the 160 millimeter rotors with the nut brakes, and it's a cool looking scooter. It's definitely the best looking Dualtron scooter on the market. I think so. And it's got a bigger deck than the Ultra 2. The Ultra 2 had the biggest deck until the Storm Limited came out. And I love the square mud guards in the back, the square mud guard in the back and the square mud guard in the front with the thick kickstand. I wish my Ultra 2 had the uh, square mud guard in the front and the square mud guard in the back. And like I said, it's got the no flat tires, it's got the steering damper, but what's the point if you're not getting the performance out of the scooter? What's the point of having a fucking $5,600 scooter, $6,000 with tax, maybe even a little bit more, that really doesn't get over 50 miles an hour? I'm sorry, but I want 65 plus if I'm going to get this scooter. Now, V the Sapien, shout out to V the Sapien. He's got the Dualtron Storm Limited, and I think he's uh, considering on sending it back. Because he's just been having a shitload of problems. He's been trying to get to the problem, but he just seems you know, not to be able to figure it out. And like I said, I don't know if it's a controller issue or a motor issue, but it's got to be either one. But they fucked up when they made this scooter and they try to roll out some new motors and shit and it's still not performing the way it should. So I'm not going to get the uh, Dualtron Storm Limited. I wanted to wait and see what was going to happen and this is what happened. They rolled out the new motors and it's barely getting 60 miles an hour. But I digress, guys. So... Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think I should wait a little longer and see what happens with the Dualtron Storm Limited? Or do you guys think I should sell my Cobble Wolf Warrior 11 Plus and get the Cobble Wolf King GT Pro? Because I love the Cobble Wolf King GT Pro. And it's faster than the Dualtron Storm Limited, I can tell you that much. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope I can uh, shed some light on the Dualtron Storm Limited. And if you're in the market for the Dualtron Storm Limited, I would wait maybe a little bit longer. If not, go with the Thunder 2 or even the Ultra 2. The Ultra 2, in my opinion, is a little bit faster than the Thunder 2. Maybe not 0 to 50 or 0 to 55, but it definitely tops out a little bit higher than the uh, Storm, the regular Storm and the Thunder 2 at about 62 miles per hour. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Mikey from the Electric Scooter Guy. Peace out.